lost their lobbyists, they lost their legislative person. Um, and so they really had nobody we could even really contact or reach out to. Well, in their search for new lobbyists, our the lobbyists that we had used, um, obviously they pay a little, uh, the medical associate patient pays a little more for their uh, lobbying than, than what we do. Um, and so they um, ended up taking uh, that uh, contract to, to be their lobbyist. So then they realized there'd be a conflict. Um, and so they got us in touch with actually um, a lobby firm that we had worked previously with on another issue when we had two lobbyists when we were going through some dry needling stuff. Um, and uh, one of the main uh, contacts within that lobbying firm, actually, uh, him and Steve Kassenbaum, like I said, was our legislative chair, actually had become friends during that time period and continued to maintain some friendship. Um, they had stopped being our lobbyists because we just didn't really need to, and they didn't feel like they should uh, try to kick out, you know, the other lobbying firm that we have. But now when the other lobbying firm kind of kicked us out, uh, we quickly uh, jumped on board and they were willing to come on to be our um, lobbying group. So they kind of continued with that. So we didn't really, because the medical society, they had other things that were going on. They weren't really in much opposition um, in, in this whole process, just because they had other issues and they weren't very well organized or anything like that. So uh, we um, put together uh, the plan on who the key legislative champions. Again, other good things when you work hard enough, sometimes you get luckier. Um, the senator, uh, that headed the committee that was going to be our lobby champion happens to be the senator for Steve, uh, who Steve uh, knew very, very well. So uh, that was nice to have that in your back pocket. So when they always tell you, you know, why should you always keep to know your legislators? You never know when the right legislator is the right one to know. And this is uh, definitely one of those cases. Um, but um, they put the language together that actually we just sent them our information. Uh, we didn't write the bill language. Uh, we just sent them information on what we would like in it and all that. And our lobbyists worked that. There's a bill writing uh, within the state that does that. Um, what you see is what they sent back to us. We're like, yep, that looks really good. <laughs> uh, and so we really didn't even have to make any changes uh, because we were very happy with uh, what it was. Um, once it was presented, I went to committees uh, at the committee hearing. Like I said, our lobbyists and um, Steve Kassenbaum were at those just to see if any issues came up. Uh, the only thing that came up is that the uh, um, the American Council of Radiology had sent a letter um, kind of saying how they were against it, um, which actually turned to be in our benefit because they stated an AMA article talking about how nurse practitioners and um, PAs uh, have increased uh, utilization um, compared to what a primary physician was. And, and we, um, Steve happened to be there. So he texted me, hey, they're talking about this, what we could do. And I quickly you know, gave back the, the research that shows, yes, but we are far better diagnosticians uh, in, for any musculoskeletal injury uh, and that we're on uh, par with orthopedic surgeons and probably better than most primary care physicians and definitely a lot better than PAs and nurse practitioners. And that's really the whole problem with this is, is that especially in rural Iowa is where this is probably needed the most is, uh, you know, the, the, the physical therapist sees that and who are you going to have to call back to get the referral it's probably a PA or nurse practitioner <laughs> um, and so um, that actually their their opposition I think actually worked in our favor because we agreed with their statement and thus the whole purpose of the bill was to um, not have to go to PAs and nurse practitioners